in Jhub, and I'm apologizing for the slight lateness of this video, but I knew I wanted to post this as soon as possible since I'm trying to stay on track of the one video every week. I know in my last video I said I would cover a movie that really got to me. That movie was going to be Pig because that movie just made me depressed the entire day, but <laughs> last week I saw a movie that really, really got to me. And with that in mind, this review is going to be probably one of my shortest ones because this is a movie you can't really watch only once. You have to watch it multiple times to give a proper review, at least in my opinion, because my thoughts on the movie, they're not that much just because it's a very thought-provoking movie, and that is The Green Knight. But before I talk about The Green Knight, I want to um, let you all know that I'm no longer doing my usual rating system from my previous reviews or even Letterboxd. I recently talked to some of my movie friends, and it was actually a really good talk, and it made me realize that kind of rating system, while it can be good, it's not for me. I'm not, like, I guess giving my proper thoughts when all I'm doing is just rating everything about the movie. I should just talk about the movie for what I love and what I don't like. I'll still talk about the elements, but I'm not even going to rate the elements because they're they should be talked about, but, like talk about freely even if what I say doesn't make sense so that in mind start the review again this is gonna be so small because the green knight was a movie I was not expecting to be like this I went in blind because the trailer I actually rewatched the trailer just now it did not give a whole lot regarding what it's going to be about but it gave away so much regarding the imagery and that's probably the biggest pro of the movie is the imagery, the visuals, um, the cinematography, the setting. It's just honestly a work, work of art with the, with the, what um, David, David Lowry presented. It's just, oh my gosh, it's so smart. Like, again, I've only seen it once, so it's kind of hard for me to talk about just going off by memory. But I remember just being captivated as the movie went on. Um, the other pro with The Green Knight, without a doubt, has to be Dave Patel. I've only, sadly, watched two movies from him that I can name off the top of my head, and that's The Last Sarah Bender and Marigold Hotel, and ne watching The Green Knight makes me want to watch more of his filmography, especially um, the David Copperfield movie he was in last year. I was going to go see that, but that's when COVID happened, so I was not able to see that. But oh my gosh, his performance in The Green Knight has to be one of his best, if for me, the best performance I've seen for him. Because he is playing a character that wants to be something, but he doesn't have a good grasp of what he is currently. Like, he has this goal of wanting to be a knight, but at the same time, he's not living that kind of lifestyle. And he's going on this quest, basically blind, like the audience. And Patel really did so well, giving us a range of motions for each little thing that Gawain did in the movie. It's just very captivating. I really want to watch it again. Yeah, unfortunately, that's all I can say about the movie. Is that it's so good, but you have to watch it more than once because... It has multiple meanings. I've read articles and reviews and I've talked to some friends where they either talked about the ending, what Dave Patel's character means, what the um, story settings are like. And it's a movie that I think everybody will be talking for a while just because there isn't a grasp on it yet because David Lowry is like, um, there is multiple meanings to the ending. There's multiple meanings to some of the elements in the movie. So I don't know how long that would take for someone, uh, for me at least, to finally get a good grasp of what this movie 
is like I just was astounded when I left the theater I was just like mind blown because I didn't have a grasp of what I just watched I just watched a very epic tale I would love for more movies in 2021 or in the future to come to be like that where it's it gives the audience an experience that they can't even talk about like it has to um, go for more than one ex- viewing. Uh, I know this is pretty short and I don't know if it comes off as lame, but I did want to at least get one video out this week and I definitely wanted to talk about The Green Knight. I just didn't realize like how much of an impact it left because currently it is my favorite movie of 2021. I do have a list on Letterbox that shows all my 2021 movies that I've seen ranked and it is placed at number one. I really recommend it to anyone who's curious about the movie, is a fan of Dave Patel, is a fan of David Lowry, or is a fan of King Arthur legend, though this is a story based off of a poem that nobody knows the origins of. So it's definitely an interesting take on it. So my rating for this movie, again, I'm no longer going by my system. I'm just gonna rated based on how much I love it and that would be five stars because goodness it is a fantastic movie but at the same time I need to watch it again so let me know what you thought of The Green Knight in the comments below hopefully I will get another video out next week but until then I'll see you next time bye